Hey guys, it's me Cruel back again with another action video on this channel. Today I'll be watching and reacting to God 7's Brief. Actually, Breath, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, anyways, yeah, this is their new song and this is a preview song for the upcoming album called um, Something with Last Piece. <laughs> I know that the title track will be called Last Piece and I just forgot the complete name of the album, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, Breath of Love, Last Piece, thank you so much for the help um, to the hashtags here. But yeah, I have not seen any of the teasers for this, if there were any. I, I don't know if there are uh, teasers for pre-release singles, but I never watch teasers, so I would not know this kind of stuff, you know. I'm just gonna go in blind with this one and I'm really excited because uh, 47 languages of subtitles after 4 hours, Jesus Christ. Um, I'm really excited that they have a new song and that they're coming back because I actually really liked their comics this year and end of last year. Um, so I'm ever since Eclipse basically kind of becoming a fan of GOT7. I know them since Hard Carry came out years ago, so basically since I got into K-pop in 2016 I know them. But I never really was a super fan of them and there was a big time period where I just didn't like the sound at all. After Now or Never basically I think. Um, and with Eclipse, they, they've been getting more and more into my liking and uh, I just really like the last album so much, so I'm really excited for this. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything in the future. I upload every single day and I also have a Patreon. Uh, quick shout out to my patrons for November, thank you so much for the continued support. Special shout out to 42 Ariadna, Bin Ingein and Eldritch, thank you, thank you. And if you guys are also interested in supporting me, either that or just wanting to watch more content of me, then check it out in the description below. Um, I react to stuff like live stages, album reviews, TV shows that I've reacted to in the past and will do so in the future as well. Uh, stuff like Road to Kingdom, Good Girl Island, Running Man, Show Me the Money and more. And I also um, react to Animate K-Drama which you guys can vote on in polls um, right now. A poll won for the K-Drama It's Okay to Not Be Okay and I started that and I'm currently at about episode 4. So um, you can watch episode 1 for free for every show that I react to. Check it out if you want to and uh, then if you liked it, pledge your support to watch all the other episodes. Let's go into this one. Um, also have a Discord. If you want to join that, it's also linked in the description. Let's get started with God Seven's Brief. Jesus Christ, God Seven's Breath. <sighs> Not Brief, there's no E at the end. Breath. Breath. Okay, they're in a museum, in like a art art museum. So, so I know some member names, but I could never really. I really liked JB, the last one, but I only knew that it was JB thanks to lyric videos. So honestly, I could never find out the members other than Jackson. Sorry. <laughs> Everything is kind of time frozen here in this video. Like everything in the air and stuff. That's moving though, huh? Oh, now they're saying brief. <laughs> oh, the vocals are strong again. Uh -huh. Interesting. Very different type of chorus. This guy's handsome. Is, is, is Jackson not in this video, by the way? I don't think I've seen him yet. I, I am breathing, yep. <laughs> oh, is this JB? Because I remember he had really long hair last time. I don't know. But he has a really cool vibe, whoever this is. Like you can tell, this is a, a guy who knows what the, the word cool means. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. I am I tripping or is Jackson not in this or is this Jackson like 
I think this could be him. I don't. I'm sorry. I. Re I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna concentrate on the song, since uh, I don't know anything. There he is. <laughs> All right. He's rapping again. That's nice. Oh, more. Okay. I like his hair. Looks good. That's a wild outfit. What? Oh my god. Why is that the thing that looks. Sorry, but kinda bad. <laughs> Why is that the thing? Like today you can literally wear anything and it's, and it's trendy. What the hell? <laughs> oh! oh! Wait. That's kinda cool. They disappear into thin air. Yeah, but okay, I will say that at the end. Oh, hey, that's a cool camera zoom. Breath. Art gallery again. Oh, there's the, the curtain. Okay. I wonder if that's a teaser for the um for the title track. Maybe. I like that the the music continues in the outro. That's pretty cool. Um. So that was the previous single called Breath from God 7 for the upcoming album. Uh, one thing I really wanted to point out and I uh, thought about while watching this already is that this doesn't feel like a title track at all. And obviously that makes sense, it's not a title track, but I was just thinking if this would be a title track, I would be disappointed. It's um, not really a Korean song, a coherent song. It's pretty chaotic. It's it's like you go out of this and you're like confused like what just happened song structure wise especially this feels very all over the place There is a structure, but it's very wild and it's it's hard to see through that on first listen on like only one listen You know, so definitely have to watch and listen to this more often to find that out a bit more but as for like the song and that I guess the impact of the chorus itself it's not as impactful as I would wish like for a title check that's why I feel like this is perfect for some kind of pre-release um, single so I'm actually um, like I don't really care how pre-release singles sound I mean if it's a really amazing song and I love the pre-release single uh, Mama Musdinga for example is a good example where I thought that it was one of the best songs that they ever did and um, it's actually not my favorite song on the album but I really love, love the album overall so uh, just speaks volume to the album itself I just really like that uh, song though and I like it way more than the title track called Aya uh, and I feel like if that's the case then sure I, I will also enjoy the uh, pre-release single but more so than that I feel like pre-release singles are like an experiment type of um, music video so it's it's essentially like a second comeback that is just more experimental and not as common in terms of song structure and like a heavy hitting drop and like an insane choreo and like all these things that we know about k-pop these days are that are popular right everything like that is not a pre-release single like a pre-release single is everything but that basically it's just a place where people and artists can experiment and do stuff they wanted to do rather than stuff they need to do in a title track if that makes sense to you so that's kind of what i feel about title uh, pre-release singles and that's why these songs are pretty hit or miss to me of course like not, not everyone will like this but i support the idea of experimenting and i support um well just the idea of the pre-release single thing i really like it it's probably some some people could argue it's kind of shady to extend your promotion circle uh, cycle even longer not just um, at the end to promote longer but also to the front now so basically start promoting earlier than it was in the past 
Um, some people would call this like milking the fans and I could see that somehow. I personally don't agree with that at all though, but it's something to think about, I guess. Um, because that's obviously a standpoint that exists as well. But yeah, anyways, that's it for my reaction video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And comment down below what you guys thought of the song, uh, what you're excited about from the album and the title track. And um, yeah, just in general, if you want to see me react to anything else. Um, there's a few GOT7 songs. Like, you can just request anything that I have not reacted to. I will leave a playlist to all my GOT7 reactions in the comments. Everything that I have not reacted to, you can request. There will be a few songs under that that I know, but maybe not have heard for a long time, or maybe never seen a music video before, and I can still react to those, you know, um, if you guys want me to. But yeah, just request me stuff, and I will put it on my list. I will always read every comment, so don't worry about that. Yeah, that's it for me. Have a nice day. If you like this reaction, leave a like, subscribe, and peace.